house. Start over. Yeah. Okay. I'm Robert Scoble, and we're in the blog house, and I was just talking to these gentlemen. Who are you guys? I'm uh, Greg Abris with Three Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. You got to hear. Come uh, closer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Greg Abris with Ring Nokia. This is Stefani. Hi, I'm Stefani. Yeah. I actually write all the blog posts. He's my editor because my grammar is horrible. <laughs> Anyways, we were just talking about the uh, new Apple announcements today, the new iPhone that's totally hyped up. And uh, if you looked at techmeme.com today, it owned like the whole page. I mean, it was just hundreds of reviews about the iPhone. But we were talking, and, and I was going, man, I, I was thinking uh, buying one, but these guys had a, a great couple of points. What were your points? Let's see. First of all, no expandable memory. You're stuck with what Apple gives you. Battery, if it dies, runs out of life, you're stuck with what Apple gives you. The software that's on it, you're stuck with what Apple gives you. No user control. No 3G, you're stuck with the old edge technology. Let's see what else we have here. No uh, GPS. No GPS, so GPS is out of the question. So it's got a 2 megapixel fixed focus camera phone. There are, there are already camera phones out there which have autofocus and they have LED flashes. That thing is just a tiny little lens hole. So, do you have a, do you have a, a Nokia phone? I saw one of you guys had a Nokia phone on. This is my Nokia N93. This is the 93? Yeah. And how do you like it? Okay, let's see. It's got a 3.2 still megapixel camera. Uh, it does 640 by 480 video at 30 frames per second. Uh, loads it up in straight MP4. Upload it to uh, YouTube. No problem. No problem but, at all. but let's face it. It's not my place. It sucks because it's not an Apple product. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and within one week after that, and it doesn't. Comes out. It, it's not 0.43 inches thick. It's all 0.63 inches thick. And within, <laughs> within one <laughs> week of that thing coming out, I can hear it right now. Getting there. It scratches. My phone scratches. Why is it scratching? You know, because there's a little sapphire coating. Because everybody expects it to be a nice Apple product that will last you a millennium. When we all know is they want you to recycle and buy a new phone every year. You know, you know, Most you know, importantly, for the corporate users, no exchange support, no office support. So what's everyone in the corporate environment going to do? Meanwhile, the stock at BlackBerry and RIM is going down while Apple's is shooting up. And why? Because of good marketing on Apple's, on, on Apple's end. Meanwhile, the corporate users are completely screwed over. I noticed that it was under glass, and when I when I worked at Microsoft, I got overly hyped on Windows Vista early on because I saw some really cool prototypes and some early products, and they didn't let me touch the product. I am very cynical whenever I can't touch a product. I know that that means that it's not going to ship soon, and I know that uh, the software is going to change because it's not done yet, and it, it might not ship the way that they're showing to you. So I'm skeptical, but... It still is cool. <laughs> it's an Apple product. I'm, you know, you, you got to get hyped up about it because it's an Apple product. Who cares about the features? Who cares about, you know, what it does and whether you can change it better? It's an Apple product. It's Steve Jobs. He wears black tech turtlenecks. You can only buy it from Singular only with a two-year contract. So that's five hundred dollars. Two years of your soul is behind the way. But you should be on your knees thanking God that it's only five hundred dollars. It could have been seven hundred dollars to own a cool Apple product. Oh no! <laughs> but now that's you can buy six hundred dollars. Right? Yeah. So it's what? Only one hundred and thirty-five k compared exactly. to EVDO. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly. EVDO. It's not the Singular Edge Edge Network. It's not three G. Right. And it's, it probably doesn't work in Europe or in uh, India, right? Probably won't. But they're really plugging it. You can download your iTunes. Oh, yeah, right. At you what can't speed. download from the iTunes Music Store. You can only transfer your music, like an iPod. It's not like you can connect to the web and have a mobile iTunes Music Store. So you're still limited to a phone computer connection. And every single phone out there right now that costs more than five hundred dollars has uh, has a GPS module built in. This one, it is. Well, thanks, guys. No problem. No problem. <laughs> you're still wrong because Apple's. It's an Apple. It's an Apple. It's cool. It's an Apple. It's, it's an Apple. It's, 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 it's Steve Jobs. <laughs>